Shallow poaching, like sautéing or grilling, is an a la minute technique. Foods are cooked in a combination of steam and simmering liquid to create flavorful, tender, and exceptionally moist dishes. The cooking liquid is always used as part of an accompanying sauce. This technique is perfect for naturally tender foods like fish, shellfish, and poultry items. Shallow poaching can be done in a sautoir, sauté pan, or other shallow cooking vessel like a rondeau. What is important is that the pan is not too big or too small to hold the product comfortably. To illustrate the principles of shallow poaching, we'll prepare poached striped bass with watercress sauce. Different products and quantities may require a different pan and handling during cooking, but the principle is the same. fish and portion into six ounce pieces. Season with salt and pepper. As part of the total mise en place for this recipe, blanch and puree the watercress. Lightly butter a sautoir. This adds flavor and helps to keep the food from sticking. Briefly saute some shallots. Place the fish in the pan and add enough wine and fumé to properly shallow poach the fish. The liquid adds flavor to the cooking item as well as to the sauce prepared from the cooking liquid or cuisson. Prepare a circle of parchment paper, brush it with butter, and cover the fish. On the stovetop, bring the liquid just barely to a simmer. Transfer the sautoir to a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven and poach the fish until it is just done, about 10 to 12 minutes. The gentle heat from the oven allows the food to cook evenly. This also frees up the stovetop for other preparations. Cooked fish should be evenly moist, opaque, and light in color. Check for doneness either visually or by touch. Remove the fish, moisten with the cuisson, and keep it warm. Immediately return the sautoir to the direct heat and reduce the cuisson to concentrate all the fish's flavor. Add heavy cream as needed for a rich mouthfeel and reduce this to a good consistency and flavor. Add the other ingredients such as the watercress puree, lemon juice, and salt and pepper to balance the dish. As soon as the sauce is done, ladle it around the fish and serve. 